There's over 6,000 flags here today in memory of all those servicemen and women that so honorably gave their lives in defense of our country because of what happened to us on September 11th, 2001. These duffel bags are filled with notes and hand handwritten notes and letters that are going to be sent to the families of the servicemen and women that have given their lives in defense of our country since what happened on 9-11.
that Tuesday, September 11th, 2001, in a matter of minutes, as terror struck this country, our life as we knew it, as a nation, had changed forever. The tragedy burst what we now know to be the war on terror. That war on terror since that day has taken over 6,209 American lives, American soldiers. There are 6,209 plus American families who live today in the throes of grief, in the throes of great pain. Ten years later now, we look back and we ask some critical questions. The 9-11 project of this church and marking ministries was entitled, is entitled, The Ultimate Sacrifice, Remembering 9-11. Our goal, our objective, was not only to remember those who died in the towers in Pennsylvania and in Washington. Our objective has been to remember those soldiers who have since come through Dover. And those families who now grieve and suffer their loss. Whenever I conduct a funeral, one of the things I like to do is I like to step down from this pulpit. And I usually greet the family in the front row. And I ask the family at this point to listen closely to what I have to say to them. I know what it is like to be touched by grief. I know the experience of getting that call that tells you your loved one, your son, is dead. And I ask the congregation during these funerals to eavesdrop that really my words are for the people, the family that is sitting there suffering the horrendous shock of losing a loved one. And the rest can just sit in and take note. Well, that's what I'm going to do this morning. The Ultimate Sacrifice CD resource is being sent to 6,209 families across America whose loved ones have been killed in the war on terror. Last Wednesday night, we packaged them up. They're ready to go. And at the end of this service, they will be presented for prayer. And we will send them off to those families. The intention, of course, is that those families will listen to that resource and hear the message of hope that is in Jesus Christ. And that they will come and visit us by way of our website and listen to this message that I am giving today. That's the objective. And so I want you to pretend with me for a moment that they're all sitting in this front row. Because I have some things as a partner in grief that I would like to share with them. In 1993, we lost our son Mark. You all know that. Mark Inc. Ministries was named after him. And here we are all these years later and I'm able to look back and say to these folks who have lost a loved one, there is hope. There is hope. Some have wondered if anyone remembers, if anyone cares that these brave warriors have paid the ultimate sacrifice. One of the things I am very pleased in a bittersweet way to present to you this morning is the face of this project. Specialist Jonathan Kephart is a soldier who was killed in 2004 
in Iraq. His gold star parents are here today, and I would like you to acknowledge and recognize them. Bert and Donna, would you please stand? 